A thermal power wave is a self-propagating thermal wave driven by, a, as a fuel reacts near a thermally con conductive nanoconduit. So the idea is that you have some nanowire or, or nanotube that can conduct heat much faster than, it, than the fuel it, it itself. As, as this fuel de decomposes, it releases heat into the conduit where it moves a lot fa faster, couples back to the fuel, um, making a very special kind of thermal wave. It's called, called the soliton. And if you plot the temperature versus time of, of this, uh, of this uh, s system, you get a very unique sharp uh, wave front that travels uh, along the material. And this thermal wave will actually push electrons along in, in what we call a thermal power, power wave. You, you get, if you look at the, the voltage versus time, you get a single pol polarity, very, very high, high power den density pulse, so about, um, about a factor of, uh, of 10 or 20 times uh, higher than a, than a lithium ion battery. The reason why thermal power, power waves are, are important is because it's a, a new mechanism that we can explore that directly converts chemical energy to electrical energy di directly without any, any mechanical parts or, or without using a fuel, fuel cell. And uh, that has the potential to, to lower um, the size of the batteries we use today by, by at least a factor of 20. If you look at the energy density of, say, an electrochemical battery, it's about one megajoule per, per liter. But if, if you could run your battery off of glucose, it could be approximately 20 times time smaller. So that, that's why, why, why we're interested in these waves.